Hello and welcome to Infinity. One of the most useful little tools that appears all over the place in Affinity Photo is the gradient. So let's look at some of the basic elements of it and how it might be used. So we'll start off, go to File, and New, and we'll just accept the default. So we've got an empty layer here. So let's click on Add Pixel Layer down here. And the Gradient tool, just for drawing gradients. Gradients appear in a number of different places, and we'll come to them, is this Gradient tool here. So I click on the Gradient tool, I can draw a gradient. And I start off anywhere. I can change the type up here, or I can start drawing. I click somewhere and drag. And you can see what happens, and it can turn it around here and point it in various directions. And I can see at one end here, when I click on a node, notice it gets bigger. It gets bigger to show this is the active node, and anything I do is going to be related to this. So between those ends there, I've got a gradient. In other words, it's going from the colour set here to the colour set here, and they could be any two colours. In fact, they can even be transparent. So you go from, say, black to completely transparent. The little line in the middle is a midpoint, and you can see the cursor changes on that. I can drag this up and down to make the gradient change shape. When it's in the middle, then it um, there's a little bit of a snap when it gets to it. Uh, then it has an even gradient across. When you look at the gradient, if you want to change that, you come up here and the, that gives the type. We'll go to all the different types again, but if I click on here, this little dialog appears all over the place. Whenever you want a colour somewhere, you can go to no colours, swatches, which are like palettes of colour, the traditional colour sliders, which you no doubt have seen before, and a gradient. And so this gradient, again, you've got a, the big circle is where the current one is, and you can change ends on that. So if I want to change this end, the colour is down here, and I could change the colour of that and see where it's actually changing as I go because I'm currently working on this gradient. I can click the other end and click the colour and I can okay, just click in the middle of this. There we go, oops, I change that. There we go, change that colour. There we go, and I can have that. I think I could have coloured gradients as well. We often use black and white because it's particularly used in masks and it's used for sort of shading things, making things darker and lighter. Within this, I can also do things like the gradient reverse. So if I click on that, just switches end. This middle point here, I can drag it up and down, or I can type in a number for it. I can change the type again here. This is linear, exactly the same as up here. And the opacity, is take the current point, the green point there, I can drag that back and it gets more and more and more transparent and eventually sort of disappears there. Um, you can put in what are called new stops, so I can click on up here and it puts in a new dot and I can change the colour of that as well. So I could make that red. So I can say I can cause some pretty bright effects here. When I do that, there's another halfway point appearing on each of these. I can copy, insert and delete things. So if I want to delete that, I could select it and hit delete. Or I can just grab it and drag it off and it disappears. So there we go. That's roughly what gradients are. There's more different types. We can change the types here. So for example, I could go to a radial gradient, which gives me a, comes out in a circle like that. I can go have an elliptical gradient, so I can have it in a, an oval. And even conical, 
which gives a really interesting effect. But there are there's value in this, but use that one less often. The most common ones you're going to use are linear, elliptical. Those two are most common. Radial sometimes as well. Solid is just a single colour. It's not a gradient. So there we go. That's enough about gradient for now. That's the basis of it and in future videos we'll add more to this. So thank you very much for watching.